I've always referred to Kurt as my guardian angel. And uh, we were deer hunting in Iowa and the, the, the guy that ran the farm said, uh, you want to split up or you guys want to uh, walk together? And I said, well, I haven't seen Kurt in, you know, six months, a year or what have you. I said, we'll just walk together. And, 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 you know, if we flush something up, then, you know, we'll take a chance of shooting it. And we don't have to split up and then uh, rendezvous back at the truck or anything like that. So we, we probably walked three, four miles and we walked along this fence row and, and came up to this barbed wire and, and we needed to cross the barbed wire. And, and I said, Hey, hold my gun. I'll go first. So I stepped on the barbed wire, grabbed the tree on the other side of the barbed wire. Well, the tree broke and didn't know it was rotten. And I got tangled up in the barbed wire and I, I had it completely wrapped up over my legs and I had fallen and, and separated my shoulder and I'm laying on the ground upside down and I feel something really warm running down my leg towards my waist because I'm upside down. And I said, I said, Kurt, I think I'm bleeding. He gets on this barbed wire and Kurt, the strongest man on the planet could barely get me undone from that barbed wire. And finally, I, I fell off of the barbed wire onto the ground and I lifted up my uh, pant leg and I had lit my uh, shin open from uh, my kneecap uh, down almost to my ankle. And I was bleeding like a stuck pig. Well, Kurt Henning puts me on his shoulders and carries me three miles back to the truck, wow. drives me to the uh, hospital and I get all bandaged up and everything like this. And the doctor had said, if that gentleman sitting over there wasn't with you, you would have bled to death on that fence post. And I mean, I just get choked up, you know, talking about this all the time. And, and I've always called Kurt my guardian angel. And, you know, with, with him uh, passing here in, in Tampa, it's sort of like, it's sort of like I let him down and I wasn't his guardian angel at the time, but, um, yeah, I'll, I'll never, never forget that. As long as I live, he threw me on his shoulders and, and we just boogity boogity back to the truck. And, and I don't, I don't till this day, don't even know if I could have walked that three miles bleeding as bad as I did. And, and, and he was booking it too. He was booking it. And how long and did it God, take you to get God you bless him. How long did it take you to get to those three miles? We got we got back to the truck in, in probably about um, about thirty five minutes. Wow! Yeah, he was he was uh, he was hauling tail. He really was, and 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 carrying was, the big guy on his shoulders. Yeah, yeah. He 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 strapped me up there like 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 the 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 army carry, and he says, "Hold on, we're going," and. Man, it was it was something else. It really was.